Hi, let us understand how to save an image as a flat file as well as how to load the file as a image into the system. For demo purpose, I'm going to pull an image and save that as a flat file and the same flat file will be used to create the image back into the system with the custom name and custom tag. Let me go ahead and pull an image for demo purpose. I'm into the system and I do have the Docker running. Let me pull a couple of images. So I'm going to pull engines. It will not be available locally and it is going to pull from the registry. Let me pull another image as well. The exact pull command for various versions, we can get it from the Docker Hub. Now let me list the images available. Docker image ls. I do have a couple of images. Now I am going to save this particular image that is engines latest with some file name. For demo purpose, let me go ahead and create a dedicated directory. I don't have any file locally. Now I am going to save this particular image that is docker image save engines colon latest the output of the file engines latest so that will get stored in the tar file format so here i do have the file so this is that specific file now what i can do i can go ahead and create a new image with the same file for that i am going to use the load command let me go ahead and use a load command let me go ahead and uh, remove the existing images docker image rm engines latest let me list the images available i do have only one image engines with the tag 1.17 i don't have the image with the tag latest i'm going to load the image from this particular file docker image load the file that i wanted to give us input is engines underscore latest so it will read the tar file it will create the image what was the tag that was used to create the image with the same tag it's going to create let me go ahead and list the image yes i do have the image back so this will be useful to store or persist any of the images that i have sometimes i may have a number of images but i don't want that to be available either locally or in the registry, but I may want to archive it. For the archival purpose, I will be using this particular save option. The same way, we do have an import command where I can provide a custom name to my image and the tag. Let me go ahead and use the import command, docker image import, and then the file name, engines latest, and then the name of the image that I wanted to give when it is getting created, my image and the tag I wanted to give is 1.0. Let me go ahead and list the images available. Yes, I do have the image available and it got created with the tag 1.0 and the repository name as my image. So as a part of this demo, we have seen how to save the image as a flat file and the flat file will be in the tar file format. And from the tar file, I can either load or import. Load directly, it's going to load it with the image and the tag name that we used and the import I can provide the custom tag or the repository name and the tag.